Junior, uh, <laughs> this is silly. You, you aspire to be an actor, but you teach? Yes, I teach law, Dick, at Western State University in Fullerton. Now, you were, in a, were you in the Doors movie? Yeah, yeah. I uh, played an FBI agent, and I was fortunate enough to, to get a part. Stay with the law. Will you? <laughs> I know, I've never seen you act, but it's a lot safer, I think. Stan, you won our Tournament of Champions. Uh, you have other honors to your credit. Yes, I, uh, I got into the puzzle business because in 82, I was the first U.S. crossword solving champion. Followed that up earlier this year with a puzzle making uh, championship. I was one of four people in Yugoslavia to win the World Crossword Championship. We created a puzzle that was 160 feet long in 24 straight hours. Yikes! No wonder you have a bad story of <laughs> stuff in your head. Good to hear from our stomping ground around Philadelphia, Wilmington, yes, Delaware. What keeps you busy back there? Uh, four children. That'll keep anybody busy. They are 15, 13, 11, and 9. Every two years, whether I needed them or not. And what, are, the, and what, are, their, what are their names? Uh, Emma. I have to say, Emma, Duke, Molly, and Dizzy Lizzie. There you go. You got them all. Folks, uh, stands out in front with $1,700. Judith's following behind. And Gene, you got to do a little catching up. We'll turn to that right now. And those are the categories over there. Stan, for your choice, which I'd like one to have some physics for fun, Dick. Physics for fun it is for $150. We have uh, subatomic particles, theories, and wave motion. Select one, make a wager. All right, uh, let's go for the $150 question, Gene and Stan, stand by. If a proton has a positive electrical charge and an electron has a negative charge, what is it that has a neutral charge? Stan? A neutron. Neutron is right for $200. Judith, one of the most important developments in quantum theory was the 1905 publication of a theory by Albert Einstein, a special theory of what? Relativity. You're right for $200. You've got control of the game. Mm. Just one of the last here, Judith. Oh, let's try this week on TV. Okay, check out NBC for $150, ABC and CBS at $250. Uh, higher the value, tough the question. And Gene's in there. We'll go for the $150 question stand this Thursday. Get up bright and early because NBC will once again be broadcasting the Thanksgiving Day Parade sponsored by what New York department store? Macy's. Macy's is right. For $250, Gene and Judith, if you name the actress who'll be one of the ringmasters this Wednesday on CBS's Circus of the Stars, then you'll also name the actress who co-stars in the CBS sitcom Baghdad Cafe. Judith? Uh... Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg is right. There's a <laughs> moment <laughs> pause there. You picked up $250. Two of them left. Oh, let's try AKA Rockstar. Uh, also known as Rockstars for $150, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. Pick the category you like and make a wager. All right, uh, let's go to the 1960s, gentlemen. Gene and Stan, taking his name from a deceased Welsh poet, the Minnesota-born Robert Allen Zimmerman became whom? Gene? Bob Dylan. That is right for $150. Gene for $250. Rumor is he used to wear a black and yellow jersey which reminded his mates of a bee or a wasp. And that's how Gordon Sumner got what nickname? Uh, the Big Bopper. The Big Bopper. <laughs> now, that was Jake Richardson. This oh, okay. is Sting we're looking for oh, here. Of course. That cost you a little bit. Gene, you've got control. There's only one, so I'll read it to you. And uh, it deals with the last frontier, the first question on cities, sites, and surroundings. Time to wager, folks. Stan, are you in there? All right, thank you very much for $200. Stan, we'll go to you first. The only parts of North America occupied by the Japanese in World War II were islands, including Atu and Kiska, in what island chain? The Aleutians. The Aleutians is right for $200. For $250, Gene and Judith. Alaska is bordered on the east by the Yukon and by what? Canadian province. Judith? British Columbia. You're right for $250. And that's it, folks. You've got a nice thing going here. We'll be back in just a moment to play the second half of the game. And when we do, you know what's going to happen. We're going to double the value of all of our questions at the moment. Stan's got the lead with $2,200. All news and current events questions are verified by Newsweek magazine. And now, let's get back to the challengers. Thank you, Don Morrow. Uh, checking the accounts, Gene, this is the round where you can do catching up. And I, I, I must tell you, a lot of people have come from minus scores and won this thing, so that's not a bad score. Stan, 
You're on a hot roll. If you win today, tomorrow, you go for an additional $31,000. Did you have it, to tell me that? <laughs> well, it, you know, at the rate you're going, it could put you up close to $100,000 oh. altogether. And Judith, you're right smack dab in the middle. Good luck to all of you. Second okay. half of the play, we value here double. And we have six categories to play with, and they are movies now playing, choose your quote ology, it's Latin America Week, rewriting Shakespeare, political offspring, and popular polls. The choice goes to you, Judith. Uh, let's try, I'm Polish, maybe it has something to do with that. I'll try popular polls. Popular polls, I don't know if this is what you had in mind. We had the North Pole, the South Pole, and there's one, there you go. Lech Walesa, we got one in there. Select one, make a wager, please. Oh, I gotta go. With it. Yes, all right, you're with your countrymen. Stan, you're alone at the $300 question. Name the Arctic explorer who, in 1909, claimed to have reached the North Pole. Bird. No, sir. Robert Perry was the answer, and that will cost you $300. Gene and Judith, stand by for the $500 question. Nobel Prize winner Lech Walesa first gained international attention in 1980 when he joined shipyard strikers in what Polish city? Judith? Gdansk. Gdansk is right for $500. Thank you, Lech. Five of them left over there. Which one? Um... Let's try Choose Your Ology. Choose Your Ology. For $300, we have Meteorology, Astrology, and Geology are the three ologies up there. Everybody in with a wager, and everybody gets a question this time. Stan, for $300, what's the name of the instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure? Barometer. Barometer's right. For $400, Judith, get ready to look at the video wall and tell me which sign of the zodiac is represented by this symbol. Let's cue the wall and take a look. Uh, it's Aquarius. The Aquarius water is right for four hundred dollars. Gene for five. Rocks are classified in three major groups: igneous, sedimentary, and what? That's a long time ago. That geology <laughs> class. Metamorphic was the answer. I'm sorry oh, about that, Judith. Right. You have control of the last four. Okay, let's try. It's Latin America Week. Ole. Yes, yes. Well, no, it is. Now this is Latin America Week. It has been declared to promote closer cultural and economic ties between Latin American countries and the U.S. And here are questions about, appropriately, Latin America. Let's take a check of them. We've got cities, islands, and lakes valued at $500. And there's one bet, two bets, three bets. And Gene, you're with the $300 question. What city in Costa Rica shares its name with a California city? And I'll give you a clue. Singer Dionne Warwick couldn't find it. San Jose. <laughs> Do you know the way too, as in? You got it for $300. Stan and Judith, for 500 name the large lake located on the border between Peru and Bolivia that is the highest navigable lake in the world. Judith? What is Titicaca? That is right. You got it for $500. <laughs> Movie's now playing rewriting Shakespeare and political offspring. Uh, <laughs> Movie's now playing. Movie's now playing. For $300, Sleep with Anger, Child's Play 2, and Vincent and Theo is the third one. Show us what you know about the movies. All three going for Vincent and Theo. Boy, that makes that thing up there worth $1,000 because everything doubles in value. The new film, Vincent and Theo, by the way, all three of you going for it. The new film, Vincent and Theo, a portrait of the artist Vincent Van Gogh and his brother, was directed by what respected film artist? Stan? Altman! Altman is right. You've got Zooks. The audio man just jumped out of the booth. Sorry, audio man. <laughs> We have a couple of others left over there, double the value. Do you want to try one? Gosh, I'm going to cross my fingers and go for Child's Play. Child's Play two. for... Uh, Child's Play 2 for $800. Look to the video wall and let's watch a clip from the new hit film, Child's Play 2. Roll the clip, please. <laughs> All right. That's Child's Play 2. It's being advertised with the warning that somebody's back. Who's back? Chucky. Chucky is back. All right. Now, do you want to try that last one? Let us sit there. No, thank you. All right. That's uh, To Sleep With Anger We Leave Behind. And you do have the lead and the uh, control of the game. We've got two subjects, rewriting Shakespeare and political offspring. Political offspring, please. All right, for $300, we have state senators, attorneys general, and secretaries of state for $500. Everybody in there, and we'll go to the $300 question for you, Stan. In this month's election, a man named Ted won a seat in Minnesota's state senate. His dad was Jimmy Carter's vice president. What's Ted's last name? Mondale. Mondale's right for $300, for $500, Gene and Judith. You're a Republican former U.S. Senator. 
and you've just been elected Ohio's Secretary of State. Your father and your grandfather were both U.S. Senators. Your great-grandfather was President. What's your last name? Gene? Taft. Taft is right. Robert Taft, number two, we were talking about. Gene, the last one is rewriting Shakespeare. Let me reveal the uh, material for you. It's $300 in opera, on film, and on stage. If you will, please place a wager. All right, let's uh, go for the $300 question between Gene and Stan. Stand by, gentlemen. Shakespeare was the inspiration for two of Italy's greatest operas, titled Otello and Falstaff. Name their composer. Stan. Verdi. Verdi is right. Giuseppe is first name. Doesn't necessarily mean we need it. We got the last name. Judith for 500. Playwright Tom Stoppard took the play Hamlet and focused on two minor characters. By what name do we know Stoppard's comedy? Rosencrantz and Gilderstern are dead. Judge, will you accept that? I don't think I can, Dick. I'm sorry. Oh, can, I ma on. can I ask her to repeat it? Well, that wouldn't help. No, it's right. it was quite clear. Gildenstern, and they're so sticky. It's Rosencrantz and Gildenstern. And that sound tells us that we're about to move into our final challenge of the day. We'll be able to wager any or all of your monies on the account there. Uh, and, and the pressure, of course, uh, gives you an opportunity, if you have the most money, to uh, move ahead. If you're ready, here's your final challenge of the day. It is... From real life to fiction. Hmm. And at the moment, Stan, you've got a comfortable lead. Gene, you're going to have a tough go of it here, but if you place it right, doesn't necessarily mean you're out. Judith, again, you're smack dab in the middle. <laughs> and we'll be back to play the final challenge right after this. today receive a Citibank Visa account with all the distinct benefits and exclusive services that make it America's most widely used Visa card. And now back to the final challenge and here's Dick Clark. All right, we're ready to play the final challenge now. As you know, the final challenge category is from real life to fiction and here are the questions. The first one at even odds on your wager is immortal characters. You can double your wager on adventure tales and triple it on tragedies. What you want to do here is in your case, Gene, is think about how to stay in this game because the other people have a little bit more money. Your strategy will be important. You're not necessarily eliminated. On the other hand, Stan, if you win this one, tomorrow you can go for $31,000. And here's the spoiler, Judith, over here, with enough money to make it very difficult. Remember, the highest wager gets the question, and the challenge is yours. Players are all locked in. Gene, please declare. Well, Dick, I'm just going to try to show the flag here. I'm going for tragedies for $400. All right, so Judith, $2,300 in the bank. What are you doing? Uh, my answer on Rosen was a tragedy, so I also went for tragedies for $2,300. All right, you go. I do. Pump it in again, please, Judith. All right. That puts you in abeyance for a moment, Gene. Stan, what are you up to? Well, I'm playing the percentages, immortal characters for the whole thing, for $1,600. Wow, 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 wow. Gene, that means if they're both wrong, you win the game. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. And we will start to play with Judith on the triple uh, situation. A desperate young French woman tried to escape a boring, unhappy marriage and finally killed herself. This sad incident helped inspire novelist Gustave Flaubert to write one of the great novels in French literature. For $9,200, what is the title of that novel? Madame Bovary? You are absolutely right now. Stop it. Judith, let me tell you what's happened here. Stan has the opportunity to win $9,200. If it happens, it'll be a tie. You'll both be back tomorrow, and Stan will be going for, I think, 31000 oh additional dollars. So a lot hanging on this one. Good luck, sir. A Scottish teacher named Joseph Bell, I should correct that, named Dr. Joseph Bell, had such amazing deductive powers that one of his students, years later, used him as the model for a fictional character. The character was known as the world's first consulting detective. For $9,200, the tie, the try at the big money, name that character. Holmes. You are absolutely <laughs> right. It's going to be a mighty big day tomorrow. <laughs> Gene, thank you ever so much. Stan and Judith. You folks are going to both come back tomorrow, but Stan's won three in a row. He'll be going for $31,000, and we'll see what happens. 
pass the word along. Checking out the accounts, $9,200 down the line. Gene, thank you ever so much. We'll see you tomorrow for an exciting chapter here on the Challengers. For now, Dick Clark. So long. Some contestants today will receive Jim Henson's Muppet Adventure now on Nintendo. Miss Piggy gets kidnapped and kids must save her in five action-packed Nintendo games. And Ferrero Rocher, the nutty, crunchy, smooth and crispy milk chocolate experience with Ferrero Rocher Expect the Unexpected. And Durkee French Fried Onions, the easy way to liven up your family's meals. Durkee's unique crunch and onion flavor make the difference. And new Niagara Professional Finish Heavy Spray Starch for that fresh from the cleaner's look. And V8. Vegetables are an important part of a balanced diet. V8 is a delicious blend of eight vegetable juices. Drink V8, keep your diet straight. This is Don Morrow speaking. The Challengers is a Ron Greenberg production in association with Dick Clark Productions.